Good morning everyone. Um, I am going to be vlogging today and tomorrow because I have two really exciting press trips. Um, I haven't been on like a press trip for ages um, or even really to many events but two came up at the same time. I actually got the dates mixed up and I couldn't say no to either of them because they're with brands I absolutely love going to places I've never been. So those are like my two things and with people that I love being with. Um, so they're two over Christmas festive overnight stays like in a row. So today I am at Babington House with Cowshed. One, I've never been to Babington House. It's like part of the Soho House group. Two, Cowshed is one of my favorite ever, ever brands since my mum like introduced me to it years ago. She's always enjoyed their like treatments and there, it's just such a luxury for me, like getting a pedicure, a cow shed or massage or anything like that. So I was like, yes, 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 please. Like the best thing about staying in like Soho House, Soho Farmhouse, places like that, are all the cow shed products. So that's what they have in Badminton House. And we're here and there's a spa and I'm gonna get like a pregnancy massage, my first one and a pedicure. Ruth is gonna be here and we're gonna have like a festive dinner. I'm just so excited. I went to a wedding last night and I'm feeling a bit like achy after all the dancing, so I can't wait. Um, I need to be super quick because I think I've got my treatment in like 10 minutes, but I wanted to quickly show you around this room because, oh my God, we're in the bride and groom suite. What the hell? Like, we did not stay like in a bride and groom suite this nice when it was actually our wedding. I have got Rich with me here. I never ever asked to have plus ones at events. Um, I'm totally fine going places by myself but I feel a little bit like I didn't want to drive three hours by myself and it is a Sunday. So I, I asked and they very kindly let Rich tag along, but he's just going to like stay in the room. He's not coming to the dinners or having treatments or anything. But I mean, I say just staying in the room. <laughs> this is like bigger than our first flat. The bed, like shits on our new bed, our new super king. It's like a double super king. Let me quickly whiz you around the room because this is like, I've never seen anything like it before. So you walk in, this is the room. You've got a bath just there. Um, and let me show you this absolute mahusive bed. Oh my God, like Rich, can you lie on it? Just to like give scale. I do like. Like you're, you're six foot one. <laughs> Unbelievable, amazing. Then there's a sofa. Oh my God, I've got some like goodies. I'm gonna open these when I get back because I don't think I've got time. Oh, so excited. This is all like Christmassy stuff from Cowshed. Seriously, and I'm not just saying this, Cowshed products, the best Christmas present you could get, like 100% this and the brand that I'm with tomorrow. So we've got like little air. Look at this, like three massive windows. TV, and then come over here, just a standard chaise long. Uh, and there's like a bar and there's like this, this stuff's complimentary and there's cookies, she said. We need to find those cookies. And she said the cakes are also complimentary, yes. Then there's a fire, which we can actually light and have a bath by the fire. And then there's like this little sink area, gorgeous marble sink and cow shed products, obviously. In here, there's like more gorgeous cow shed products. I'm using one of their oils. They're, they've got like a stretch mark oil that I'm really enjoying at home actually. And then like behind here, there's a whole nother area where you have the toilet and the shower. The showers are always amazing. And look at the selection of cow shed. Like there's knack, let me come in. Oh, I'm kind of wearing shoes though, this is gross. Um, there's knackered cow, grumpy cow, lazy cow. They, they're always named after cows and it's like soothing, uplifting, relaxing. Oh, they're so good. You can't take the products with you when you stay in places that have cow shed products, but you can use them as much as you like. So I'm always like squeezing out the shower gel and like lathering it up as much as I can. Oh my God. Oh, I have a dressing gown. Oh my God. This is the best day ever. I'm so happy right now. Um, I'm gonna go down in a minute and meet the others. This is gonna be dreamy. I just came back from the spa. I obviously couldn't take my camera with me, but I did do a little thing on stories. You might have seen that. Um, but oh my God, it was so good. Rich, remember me and Jojo were having that conversation last week about when people say, go to your happy place. Yeah. I was saying how like, especially when you talk about like pregnancy and labor and stuff, people always say like, go to your happy place. And I'm like, I don't know what my happy place is. People always think of beaches. And like me and my sister were saying, we find beaches quite stressful because of our hair and we're hot. We're not really good at being hot and it's sandy. And like, I'm just, I'm not good on a beach. Halfway through that massage, I was like, 
this is my happy place. Like 100% having a full body massage in like a nice room with clean, fresh smelling towels, that is my happy place. So I'm over the moon to be here because it's my absolute favorite thing to do. I had a pregnancy massage and a pedicure. And the pregnancy massage was really interesting actually. It is quite different to a normal one. First of all, they use all products that are like pregnancy safe and they use their amazing like stretch mark cream, um, Udderly, Udderly, can't remember what it's called. I'll link it down below. I started off by sitting down, putting my feet in like warm water and taking deep breaths and stuff. And then I sat on a little stool. Instead of lying on the bed, I like leant onto the bed on my front and she did my back and that was really comfortable. And then I got on the bed and they use a special bed that kind of, so I'm sitting up and then it goes up under my knees. It's so comfortable. And the whole time she was like, if you want a break, if you want some water, let me know. Really like considerate and lovely. I feel like it would be really good if you're like quite heavily pregnant. Um, I now want one of those like all the time. I always forget how much I love them and it's so worth investing in because it's like the only time I'm not on my phone and I'm truly relaxed and I don't even have to go on a beach. I just have to lie on a bed and have a massage. It was so good. So I'm just like, oh, very happy right now. Rich has been chilling in the room watching TV. And, um, oh, I might look at what my goodies are in my bag. We're gonna meet for dinner at half seven, so I've got a bit of time, an hour and a half, I think. I'm gonna make myself look a bit more presentable. And I get to see Ruth. She's here as well somewhere. I'm very excited to see her. Okay, let's look at what's in here. So this is their Christmas packaging for this year. This is their winter candle. Very nice. Oh, is there something else in there? Oh, some Soho home matches. Love that. And then this, the 12 days of cow shed. Oh, wait, is this like a whole, I don't wanna. Oh, the lid comes off, I don't have to open the bow. Oh my God, it's a cow shed advent calendar. No way. This is my favorite advent calendar. I don't wanna, oh, I don't wanna open it yet. But how cool is that? So it's like quite a deep box. And then these little things open. So I'm guessing they're probably like bottles that pull out. Really, really cool. I don't know if there's any of these left or if they're sold out, but I'll link it below if they are. I'm wearing this top tonight, which you can't really see because this mirror is like an antiqued mirror. Um, but it's green with pink polka dots and it's from Topshop from the maternity section. It's kind of, I've got, I used to wear the same style tops. So it's like the same, it's just a little bit longer. No, just come down for dinner. No. The table is beautiful. <laughs> Ruth's here. Hello. <laughs> it's a camera. Vlogging. Remember what this is? I've been done my oh. oh no, I literally, I literally just, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm here. Oh, look how cute and intimate this is. Oh my god, it's so pretty. You've got a pine cone. Oh, like a squirrel. There you go. This is guys. Everybody keeps setting on fire, but we have dinner and it looks delicious. Good morning, everyone. I slept so well. That bed is amazing. Um, yeah, I had a really amazing night's sleep actually. So, Rich, did you sleep well? Yeah, apart from I woke up thinking I was in the haunting. <laughs> Rich woke up thinking he was in the haunted house on the hill. Um, but oh my god, I think that bed's called like an emperor, like bigger than a super king. And the pillows, oh, we need to look at what the pillows are, they're so good. Um, I feel like it's quite early. Rich has already been to the gym. Um, we've just ordered room service breakfast. I'm gonna get um, egg and soldiers. I asked if the eggs were British lion stamped. I got, I put um, like a runny egg picture on Instagram when I was in New York. And I got lots of comments. NHS have changed the rules here so you can have runny eggs if they're British lion stamped, which wouldn't have counted in New York, I guess, but counts here. Um, so I'm gonna have breakfast and then I think I'm gonna kind of, I might take a picture in the nice bath and then I'm gonna get ready. We're gonna go downstairs. I might do some work, edit a video. And then we're gonna have lunch here, I think maybe, and then Rich is gonna drop me at the next event on the way home, which is very exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing Anna. Rich went for smoked salmon, scrambled egg on toast and an orange juice and a flat white. I went for dippy eggs and soldiers and an orange juice. Okay, we've now left Babington House and Rich has to get back for work, but on the way home, he's gonna drop me, whoa. Sorry, sorry. God, I feel so sick. He's gonna drop me at a place called Heckfield House, which I've never been to before. Um, and I'm gonna be there with Missima, who make these necklaces, like one of my favorite jewelry brands. I literally, I think I only really wear them at the moment and have done for ages, you guys have seen um, for like years.
is I love their jewelry so much and it's an event um, for their Lucy Williams collection so she's gonna be there Anna's going and one of the girls who was here last night Kelly's gonna be there as well so yeah it's gonna be really nice like a small intimate event and I get to stay there overnight again this never happens like two nights in a row but I think it's gonna be really nice and yeah, I'm excited to see everyone there. We've arrived at Heckfield Place. Anna just texted me saying this place is unbelievable, so I'm already excited. Oh, this is very grand. Keep going. Oh, are you driving slow intentionally? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mental these roads. <laughs> oh my God, I've never heard of this place before and it's so nice. I have to show you the view outside. They just quickly give us a little tour, but the room is gorgeous it's not like anywhere i've stayed before really it's kind of like trendy but still with that kind of old feel let me give you a little room tour of this place this has turned into like hotel room tour vlog when you come in you have this little like lounge set up and there's look it's like a massive fiddly fig plant like three really cute little setup I, literally interiors goals there's like a mini bar there oh i think this might be anna if it's, if it's not then it's embarrassing that i'm vlogging oh my god i think my pajamas <laughs> You're like meeting for tea in a minute. Yeah. How oh, nice is it? So yours is exactly. Do you want to do the tour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the tour. Um, I was like, fiddly you're fig. Gonna, you're gonna get pajamas. <gasps> They're amazing. They're oh. from that fancy brand, like As Aseno. Aseno. Oh, I saw the box on the bed. Amazing. <gasps> so your one is exactly the same as mine, but mine is like an olivey green, and yours is millennial. Pink. Mine's millennial pink. Oh my god. Can I do lots of Instagrams. So, so cool. Beautiful. I've taken a million photos. Oh my god. Oh my god. I literally have let, just walked in. There's look. There's there's gin, <laughs> great. Rich will love that. There's seed lip for me, which is perfect. <gasps> oh, I've got you seed lip. So I know that's cute. really cute. Oh my god, <gasps> Rich is gonna die. He literally was just saying how he needed more champagne glasses. Was having a little party for our neighbours. Those are from Soho Home. Um, can I show you the cutest thing ever? Uh, yeah. This is the room key, like the little thing. The room key comes in and it says <gasps> AN on the front. I don't even. Can you believe? Oh my god! Mine says LP. Like the detail, the level. Wow! Of the what detail. is this place? Seriously. You. So this is the bed. Oh my god! Look, pajamas, stocking, slippers. We are being so spoiled. I'm actually a bit embarrassed to show this to you guys. Look, there's misoma, misoma. I keep saying it wrong. Misoma bags, as well. And then there's this massive sliding barn door, and it takes you into the bathroom, which I haven't even been into. There's a shower. Look at this setup! Oh my god, there's a bath with like a window above it. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is so much nicer than I expected. Oh, even the corridors in this place are chic. <sighs> We're heading downstairs for afternoon tea and to meet everyone. I'm out of my. Uh... Oh, it's down this way, isn't it? I'm out of my pajamas now. Well, although you can't tell. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> to I said to Anna, I feel really casual, and then I just realised I completely forgot to put my shoes on. Was the moment you made like a scuffing sound. And it was like, oh, I'm wearing my slippers, and I can't go down on my slippers. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> We're just having afternoon tea. Look at this spread; it's unbelievable. Look at this cake. Oh my gosh! We're now going to be doing some wreath making. Very excited about this. Anna's already said she's going to take this really seriously. Yes. Let's show your creation. Yeah, okay. Very nice. Oh, I like the added citrus. I got some, uh, some oranges, yeah. lots of eucalyptus. Very nice. Shall I hold it for you? Yes, go on. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Mine's over here. This is my creation. Happy with that? Wreath making was so fun. I had to sneak off a little bit early um, because I I'm, was flagging a little bit. <laughs> really quite tired. Um, so I'm going to come and chill in my room for a little bit. Um, get some more energy for dinner, which is at like 7.38, I think. Um, really nice group of girls, though. And yeah, this place is amazing. It's new. I didn't realise it's so nice. Okay, I just got ready for dinner and I'm wearing this dress, which is from Lily and Lionel. I don't normally wear dresses, but I'm actually finding them quite comfortable at the moment as opposed to like jeans. Um, my black jeans are quite tight on me. It comes with this little belt, which you can take off. Um, but as you can see, I get I get a little bit big in the evenings. Um, so I'm wearing this. I really, really like it. It's so comfortable. I'll put the link down below. I'm also wearing so much Missima um, Lucy Williams jewellery. These two are ones that I already had and love. This one is new. It's like a little hexagon necklace. Also, my earrings. My earrings are new. If you can see them, they're like little hoops. 
and I have a new little bracelet. They've been very generous with the gifts. I've just been chilling and I'm looking forward to dinner. I think I'm just waiting for Anna to get ready. We get real cheers. Look at this dinner table, so pretty. We've got a little LP pouch. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Dinner was so lovely. Um, it's now like 11 o'clock, so I've come back to the room because I've got a little bit tired. Um, but it was so, so nice and Christmassy. Everything's so chilled. It's literally like tomorrow we've got like a free morning. Um, so I'm going to have a bit of a lie-in. I'm going to take some photos, do some work. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice group of people and just really nice to chat to Marissa, who's the founder of the brand, and obviously Lucy about her collaboration. And it's a really lovely event. So I'm going to go to sleep and maybe I'll vlog a bit in the morning when we're kind of going around the grounds. It is the next evening and I'm sorry I didn't vlog this morning. Um, we woke up, um, had a really nice breakfast in the room and then me and Anna took some photos of each other in the hotel room, which was really handy. We got a load of Instagrams for each other. And then um, we had to get the cabs back at like 11.30, so I didn't have much time, I didn't end up vlogging. And then I had a bit of a disastrous journey home because I threw up in the cab. Oh my god, I've never thrown up in a cab in my life, like even when drunk. I started to feel really sick, but I always feel sick in cabs. So I was just like trying to breathe through it. And then I could, I really felt sick. So I said to the man, we were on like a motorway. So I said, um, if it's okay, if you could try and pull off the motorway when you can, I feel a little bit sick and I'm pregnant, if that's okay. And I thought I'll just get some air, maybe sit in the front. So he starts pulling off. And I literally, I had no control of it. I just threw up and I was so embarrassed. And I was going, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I felt really, really bad. Um, and that was it, like it was just once and I instantly felt better. It was so strange. I think I need to start carrying sick bags with me. That's the first time that's happened, but I hated that feeling of like, I'm gonna be sick and I've got nowhere. I didn't even have a minute to think about it actually, otherwise I would have opened the window. It just happened. So I had to like have the rest of the journey in a vest. I literally threw up all over myself. I was like in a vest top. My jeans were disgusting and yeah, that was fun. So yeah, I haven't felt great for the rest of the day. I've just been taking it easy, but I hope you guys enjoyed my little like two day vlog. I'll be back again with a new video soon. So thank you for watching. Sorry to end on a sick story. It happens. <laughs> Bye.